Hello students, in today's video we will determine the beam divergence of a given laser beam. This experiment is part of curriculum as designed by IPG Punjab Technical University. So for this experiment we require an optical bench, a laser beam source, here we are using a semiconductor diode laser and a screen. Begin with, we switch on the laser source and as we observe that when we switch on the laser source, so it has a property of that it just pinpoints on the surface. So if we see this screen, we can see that as we move away from the screen, the size of the spot is increasing. So this is actually divergence. So divergence is basically the spread in the uh, beam or we can say that angular spread in the beam with the distance. The diameter of the beam increases with the distance. When we measure this, it is called divergence of the beam. So for this experiment, what we have done is we have kept our laser at 0 centimeters and we have kept our screen at 40 centimeters. So distance between laser source and screen is 40 centimeters. What we will do is we will take this graph paper, place it here and draw this circle. This is our very first reading. Next we take this screen to 60 centimeter. Again keep our graph paper here and draw this circle. Here we go with the third reading. We have to keep the distance constant. Anyways, you can keep the distance uh, different also. But here in this case, we are considering the uh, distance between first point and second point as same. So we have kept it at 80 centimeter and we draw the third circle. And here we go at 100 centimeter and draw our last circle. So as we see from this our set of readings that as the distance between source and screen increases we can see that diameter it is visual to us that diameter is increasing. This circle was at 40 centimeters when the distance between source and screen was 40. This circle is at 60 centimeters, this circle at 80 and this circle at 100 centimeters. So uh, now we have to see the diameter of these circles. We can see that this, we know that this big box is of 1 centimeter and since, since it is has, it has 10 boxes. So if 10 boxes leads to 1 centimeter, then one box, one small box, it has dimension of 0.1 centimeter. So if we observe this reading at 40 centimeters, we can see that it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 boxes. So here the diameter comes out to be 0.5 centimeter. Similarly, if I see the reading for 60 centimeter when the distance between source and screen is 60, then the box is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it is 0.7. The diameter of this spot is 0.7 centimeter. If we go for 80 centimeter, we can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9 boxes. So 0.7. 9 centimeter and at 100 centimeter boxes from end to end 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 uh, 10 boxes means 0 0.1 into 10 centimeter so this is, comes out to be 1 centimeter now moving towards our reading section what we have to do is initial reading of spot 1 yeah, initial position of spot 1 was at 40 cm. From our observations, we see that its diameter is 0.5 cm. Final reading. Here we will consider 60 as final reading. And diameter of spot 2 
if we see that this is 0. Point, this is 0. Point 0.7 cm this is in centimeters number 2 we can take this final reading as the initial reading of next set of readings so 60 0. 0.7 80 distance between a source and slit is 80 and its diameter is 0. 0.9 cm 80 0. 0.9 cm now this final reading comes up, becomes the initial reading of third set of readings 80 and 0. 0.9 and here we have 101 centimeter so 101 centimeter this is the formula of angular divergence if we don't consider this 180 by pi then this angle will be in radians so to convert it into degrees we have multiply it with 180 by pi here d2 is the diameter of second spot of final reading d1 is the diameter of first spot and l is the distance between two positions and since 60 minus 40 is 20 80 minus 60 is 20 100 minus 80 is 20 so we have considered l as constant in this reading so why so how to calculate it now if we calculate it formula is d2 square minus d1 square over l into 180 by pi so here i'm going to calculate my reading 0 0.7 square minus 0. Point minus 0. 0.5 square is equal to it comes out to be 0. 0.24 i have to divide it with 20 centimeters so divided by 20 is equal to then since this is in radians i have to if i want to uh, change it to degree i need to multiply it with 180 and divide it by pi so into 180 is equal to divided by pi. so answer is 0 0.6875 degrees this is the first reading so moving towards the second set of readings final reading final diameter d2 square is d2 is 0.9 d1 is 0.7 so 0.9 square minus 0.7 square this comes out to be 0.32 divided by l that is 20 divided by 20 this is in radians we have to convert it into degrees into 180 equal to divided by pi so answer is 0.9 16. Moving towards the last reading, here D2 is 1 and D1 is 0 0.9. So we have 1 square, of course it is 1, minus 0.9 square. This comes out to be 0 0.19 divided by L, that is 20 centimeter, divided by 20 into 180 divided by pi. So this comes out to be 0 0.544 degrees. So these are the answers. And to find the mean value or average value of diver uh, beam divergence, I add all these three readings. So to find the mean, what I do is I add these three, two re the three readings. 0.6875 plus 0.916 plus 0.544 is equal to divide this again divided by 3 so it comes out to be 0 0.7158 degrees so this is the beam divergence thank you and stay tuned for more such kind of experiments